Good morning. How was your night? Fantastic. Fantastic. How was your night? Lovely. Lovely. How was your night? Yes, good. You have a good night? Yes, good. Okay, okay. We're gonna go to the lake in the beautiful national park. Okay. And the oldest jungle on this planet. How do they know it's the oldest jungle on the planet? Because it's 140 million years ago, the water, ocean was going down uh -huh. and opening the karst and limestone formations. Those kind of uh, geography we have in Halong Bay in Vietnam, here in Khao Sok National Park yeah. and in Gurin in China. Great land. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Let's go. Let's not waste time. Let's go. Let's go. Enjoy your trip. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> We're, uh, we're gonna have an interesting day today. If you, if you haven't caught this video or you don't know what's going on, hi, my name's Matt. I'm cycling around the world on a recumbent trike from China to the USA, slowly making my way around the world. I'm in Thailand right now. So we are 600 uh, kilometers south of, of Bangkok. I'm with my friend Peter up here. Peter is a, uh, a tricyclist, <laughs> a trikist. He is a trike tour operator, or if you don't want to do the trike, he's a tour operator as well. He's just a guru of, no, of knowledge for Thailand. Thailand, of course, I've been living in Thailand for 32 years already. Yeah. 15 years already doing, uh, working as a tour operator. Yeah. Thailand, Myanmar, Laos, Vietnam, Malaysia, Cambodia, Singapore, Indonesia, and Philippines. The man has his finger on the pulse of this area. <laughs> if you're interested in going on a vacation, check out the description below. I'll leave all of his information. In the next 10 years, Vietnam will, will be number one in, in this area. Vietnam has a very long coastline. Very long coastline and yeah. still not, not enough infra infrastructure to, to accommodate the tourists, for example. If you remember Don Hoi and around, Virgin yeah. beaches, just yeah. only a few yeah, yeah, fishermen boats waiting for tourists. Uh, so Viet Vietnam has a lot of good perspective. A lot of potential, yeah. yeah. It's kind of fun to share these hills with somebody. Most of the time I'm on my own. And if I am with somebody, I might even have a bike. And riding down these and up these on a trike is a little bit different. Whoa. Jayo. Yeah, this time I can do that. Last time I cannot. Oh, good, good. Yeah, this was... One of the strongest. Wow. Yeah. A lot of it is about momentum. Yeah. If you can get good momentum, it'll carry you into the next hill. Yeah, yeah.
tonight. All right, folks. We've finished our beers. We're going to be back on the road, but we're only going to be back on the road for a little while. <laughs> Normally, I ride everywhere, but in this case, we have a pickup truck. So we might as well take advantage, right? So we're going to uh, ride a couple of beautiful hills, then we're going to put the trike, uh, the two trikes in the back of a pickup truck, pick up truck, and then we will ride uh, for, a, for an hour and a half, park. two hours, to a beautiful park and a beautiful lake. lake. And we'll uh, a lake tour after that. We'll do a lake tour. So a beautiful mix up for a uh, trike tour in Asia. All right, we got a couple more kilometers, then we are going to put the trikes on a pickup truck and head sort of uh, across Thailand. We're going across right now? Yeah, we're going to the main road. Main road. This is nice, huh? Normally you just see my face. We're going the Malaysian Peninsula to the other side. Okay. But Crossing. tonight we'll stay in the jungle in the mountains in Taosok National Park. In the That's middle sad. of the peninsula. That sounds good to me. Body parts. <laughs> he hasn't been folded in a while, that's for sure. Trikes are loaded. Now it's time for a little nap. You know? Yeah. The new boot. Only from Mega Man. New boot. You in jail? Hmm? You in jail? So this is the uh, Guilin of Thailand. I've seen Guilin of China. So it'll be interesting to compare. So yeah, I can definitely see some similarities between Guilin, Yangshua, Ha Long Bay in Vietnam and, and this place. These um, rock structures are just gorgeous. You can tell they've been carved over unimaginable amounts of time. <laughs> just unfathomable, bull, bull. unfathomable, un long time. The restaurant we're going to is a floating restaurant. We're gonna, so. we're gonna eat some fish. I guess they caught a big fish for us. When we finish, we'll go back to the truck and then we'll go to the resort. Not, not exactly a, a Jayo world tour, cycle tour living, but it's good to mix it up. Oh, that's good. So, Co PP is closed, right? And for how many years? 
You yeah. just close it for... Just and then check and yeah. then see how the it's first, coming back. The first attempt, it was, we are closing for half a year, but later they changed it. And uh, what else? Uh, Adaman Islands? Or the uh, Similan. Similan, the Similan Islands. There are seven islands and I, as I know, two is already closed and they are going to close more. What Thailand's trying to do is they're trying to, because tourists are coming and they're ravaging these places so much that they're, they're losing their picturesque beauty, you know? Yeah. And uh, so they've closed these two, they're major, they're major, major. tourist spots, Absolutely. like huge, Absolutely. on the southern Thailand area. Krabi and Phuket sending every day, he used to send every day hundreds of, even, even we can calculate the thousands, yeah. tourists to, to Pipi and to Similan. Yeah. And that was major destination from, from islands for, for the daily trip, for the yeah. day, day, day yes. So what that means is that there's going to be an an influx of maybe new tourism to maybe the secondary tourist spots like here and and maybe some other different places you know i mean you might see a spike in people coming here because of that you know? yeah because if those destinations are going to be closed for the tourists what do we do with uh, ten thousand tourists in phuket what do we right. do with, with another ten thousand tourists with Krabi? where yeah. they go they cannot stay all 10 days on, in the, on the, the one one place on the beach right yeah, yeah, yeah. so yes yeah. you can go from uh, phuket actually to such a place like like this to yeah. national parks yes and this yeah. is this is the the new, new, new way of, new yeah. way of there's going to be a whole new, yeah. new set of places yeah. for us yeah. to destroy. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. I mean, I was lucky enough to go to both of those places, the islands and the uh, and and Co Co -P -P, a couple of times. But when I went there, it was already on its downward. It was garbage everywhere, and the the reef was pretty ravaged. years ago it was the biggest coral reef in the world from China from south of China to Borneo wow. and 140 million years ago the water was going down down and down and that's why we have this formation in every rock around every cars around us have holes and caves this is the, the biggest cave in the world in Vietnam that is the same formation at the same yeah. time yeah. And then 60 million years ago, the Indian plane crashed with Euro-Asia plane crashing and then Himalayas go up and this area also was shaking. That's why we have this strange formation. So today, if you go to the cave inside these formations, you will see still corals growing wow. because the, the well, mother... Not growing anymore. Yes, growing, but no, not, not color anymore because there is no sun inside the cave. But the corals are growing. No. White, white one. Still growing. Still growing. So if you have a time machine, get your scuba gear and come to 300 million years. This is a great diving. Great diving. Arrived at the hotel for the night. Pretty nice view. <laughs> Do you know where you are? You know you where in you the are? jungle, baby! We are in the jungle, baby! You're gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is hotel number two. Really, really amazing view. Uh, but it's definitely not as uh, five star as the place I stayed yesterday, which is cool. Variety. It is the spice of life, you know. I won't say that it's gonna be an uncomfortable night though. It's quite nice. Huh. 
Hi. Do, do I know you? No. Hello, Mr. Kap. Mr. Kap. You man. You cool? Oh, I put the air conditioning on. <laughs> That, 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 that's the thing. <laughs> you like that, that shot? Thing. You like that, that shot? This is beautiful. It's just like Photoshop. <laughs> All right, fellas, that's the end of the day. If you guys like this video, please hit a like or a comment. If you um, want to help me on my tour, I'd appreciate it. You can do it through my Patreon down below. You can buy a whole bunch of stuff, uh, Jayo merchandise on my website, jayo.com. Again, the links are below. Or you can be a member of my uh, YouTube membership. Or you can just watch. That's okay as well. Take it easy, guys. See you tomorrow. More to come. Hi, guys. I'm Peter from Peter Pan. Travel Asia, tour operator and company in Thailand. We organize private, tailor-made tours to Southeast Asia. And if you are planning to visit Thailand or any countries around, we can arrange a tour which is just for you. Based on our experience, we know the destination, we know the place, we know the area we live here. I've been living in Thailand for 32 years. So we carefully choose attractions and accommodation. Take a look on our examples of tour packages at asiaprivatetour.com We are very glad that Matt is joining us with our new activity which is recumbent trike tours and if you are interested in trike adventures please visit us at trikecrip.com Any questions or if you are interested just let me know Thank you Peter Pan Travel welcomes you to Southeast Asia